durian swiss roll oh very malaysian look at this this is quite bouncy. Do you feel like it could fall and we could die at any moment? Possibly. Hey. The little boy of Kuala Lumpur. It's said that he's actually in this eco park. And if you find him, it's the key to eternal life. <laughs> I, you're making me angry. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> because I know your weakness. This is a great sign here. It points this direction. This one has this way, but it doesn't say what's this way. So does that mean... Also there's like... Tape. Like closed off. Huh? Does We're that gonna mean... gonna die if we go in here. There's only one way to find out. It only makes it more epic. That's like a perfect spider web. Oh wow. I want to see a big hand-sized spider crawl on that thing. If I saw a hand-sized spider, we'd probably just have to leave immediately. <laughs> leave the country. Yeah. <laughs> this is so much hiking back here. This is very epic. This place is massive. It is. We've just been on one single trail the whole way. We haven't like gotten to go back to a point we've been and branch off. This is pretty sick. These Malaysian parks are pretty epic. Very nice job, Malaysia. Um, there's rings right there. Oh. They've been basting in the sun. This one might be better. It's not in the sun. Rusty. Time to get tetanus. Oh, they hurt my hands. They're very thin. Yeah. Ay, yeah, they're very thin. There's nothing to grab onto. It's just all fingers. Oh, that hurts still, too. Why are they so thin? Oh, what the frack is this thing? It's a mountain climbing practice machine. Oh. Oh my gosh, there was a, there was a children massacre here, apparently. This is their ghost fingerprint. I never told you about the child massacre of the eco park of KL. What? This is kind of horrific. Oh, there's people coming this way. So scary. It's like it's haunted. I feel like I'm in Lost. This place reminds me of Lost. Where are the others? That is just an epic workout. You just pretend there's stuff there. <laughs> it's it's not physical workout. It's mind workouts. That is good. You always need to make sure to work the mind. Work the bloody mind before you work the mines. There's a lot of accents in these Malaysia videos. Because uh, Malaysians love accents. They're so diverse. So diverse. If there's people coming back, is that a bad uh, sign? Yeah, true. Will this connect to anything? Might be. Let's find out, I guess. Nothing? Nothing? Uh, okay, <laughs> thank you. Well done, it works. <laughs> Nothing there. Whoa. This place is so scary. Wow, that's some thick bamboo. That's the thickest bamboo I've seen. Thick boiler, thick, thick boiler. boiler. I bet a giant panda could eat that bamboo. A freaking like giant panda. sized panda. Yes, yeah, the ones that are extinct. They used to be the size of school buses. Oh. And they'd be like. As long as them too? Yes. Wow. But like four times fatter. Oh, interesting. Those are some big boys then. And they were epic. That's were what, they nice? Yeah. They would only eat people if you ate some of their bamboo. Oh. So don't eat bamboo or you'll freaking die. What if you have them as a pet? You constantly feed them bamboo and then you happen to have like some bamboo shoots and some food. They will kill you and steal all your bamboo. Okay. And then eat the bamboo out of your stomach. Oh. Oh, well, they're really protective over their bamboo, I guess. They're gentle giants unless you aggravate them. <laughs> then they're aggressive giants. Exactly. Um, what happened to the dirt trail? I don't feel like I'm in the jungle anymore. No, I feel like I'm on, I'm up, like about to enter like a swimming pool with these tiles. So for, hopefully there is a swimming pool over there. I'd jump right in. Yeah, that would feel great. I'd really, I'd jump in. I would. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, that's a lot of steps. Oh my. <laughs> that's quite the, quite the picture looking out. Oh my gosh. The boy should go to the top of these steps. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a lot of steps. Whoa. That is crazy looking. That's like trippy. It's, it's like the ground is only like a curve, but the steps just keep going up. What the heck? Fun steps. Oh. Not very good in the camera, unfortunately. No. So I don't think the GoPro will see that very well either. It looks cool to us though, guys. It does, it's really awesome. epic. Well, we'll see where we get. This is a lot of hiking. Very epic. Look at those animals that we didn't see when we came in. Hornets, centipedes, uh, scorpion, and a viper. 
We could have died. Very nice. Uh, where the heck are we here? Is the exit way down here? So we're on this side. The tower's in there. And I think we entered on the bottom one. Does this road, this road, if we're there and this is the road, it looks like it goes towards the tower. Should we try to go towards the tower? Yeah. We're just suddenly on a road. This road is really steep. It is. We <laughs> flew down the stairs going down. And now we just end up walking right back up. <laughs> we're, we're taking the road version of those steps we showed. Not... That's probably the top of them right here. Hey, epic. Well, out of the eco park to the tower? Let's see what the tower costs. The tower. It was right outside. Look at there's the nature park. How convenient. Oh, it's fresh. It's really hot in the sun. Like, really hot. The shade was so nice in the park. Well, it actually wasn't. Like, I'm sweaty from the air, but the sun is going to add another element to that. Holy nuts. All right. Oh my gosh, the upside down house. Oh, it's got a car and it's upside down. That's very small. It'd be like three That's rooms. Super small. The one in Wisconsin Dells is like a whole White House. Oh, look at a double decker. We could have got that or we could just walk everywhere. What's better? Nice and in shape. Oh, yes. It's wow. quite tall. It is quite tall. Oh, look at the double decker towers. Oh, we just, uh, it doesn't count still. We can't see, see them until our uh, last video here. It, it doesn't count until we see the bridge. True, true. All right, look at that. You can't get the whole thing in the picture, unfortunately. <laughs> Even with the wide angle. <laughs> cool view of the city already from here. Oh, look at all these palm trees. Very nice. Very fancy. That right there in particular looks just like Dubai without the trees. It does look very Dubai-esque. The architecture of some of them. Some of them having their like pyramids on top. Your bank, Malaysia's bank, and bank. Hey, that's epic. <laughs> smells like mini donuts. It does. Are they like salad? It smells very delicious. We made it to the tower. It's very big. It's going to cost a lot of money for sure. I'm very curious of the tower. This is like one big tourist attraction. There's like a little mall, an XD theater, some tickets. Oh, there's only one open. Observation deck, sky deck box. Okay, so they're being a racism against us. 60? For one? Is that for Malaysians only? What's, wait, what is the difference between the observation deck and the sky deck. It's on 110. That one looks like you're at the top. So the observation isn't even the top? Oh, observation's right there. Sky deck is right there. Wow. You are a couple floors more up and it's twice as much. But you get to go in the box. The box. Wow. Oh my gosh, they take a much glory oh. effort. <laughs> you can do a tower walk up to here very sick that's already like halfway up pretty expensive like 15 bucks like we said or 10 something yeah and to do the actual cool one is much more yeah what the heck 110 it's like 20 something bucks santino's pizza omg it's not in a mall kiosk <laughs> yes we'll walk around this area we probably gotta go to santino's of course it looks pretty good on the pictures. <laughs> in the Trinoma Mall where we always see Santino's, it doesn't it looks, look very good. No, it looks like it's been out for a while. Um, hello? I don't know where we just ended up, but we're in here. To get the Shangri-La Hotel. The water treatment plant. Oh. Very nice. That's cool. Nice. But we got a low view of the city. And it looks pretty cool. Nice. 
still haven't seen those towers yet, so. Doesn't count. Haven't really been to Kuala if we haven't seen the towers. We've just been to like Chinatown. Yeah, we literally have only been to China. Yeah. China? Really? Oh, rocks. These are weird. Odd choice. Massaging. Oh, wow. My feet feel very not achy anymore. Thank you very much. Where are we? I don't know. We're just in the back of the tower. Maybe there'll just be a, it will say stairwell to the top. I'm like, oh, okay. Free. Free. And then we can make this video, how to get to the top for free. And then no one will ever be able to do it because they'll watch our video and then they'll be like, oh. And then they'll ban us from the country too. Well, that would be unfortunate for us. Look at this view. That's a big tree. We're just on the other side of shops. <laughs> Geometric boy. Well, it's so geometric. How did they even invent it? It's getting hot. Oh, that is hot. The tower is complete. We're gonna try to go back in the eco park so we can walk through it to get out, but we'll see if they let us back in. Yeah, I ripped off my thing, but it looks like it's on still. Hey, it's sticky. To my sweat. <laughs> Going to get some Malaysian food now. Time to eat. But if they don't let us through here, it's going to take us a half an hour to walk there. A long time. Because we got to walk out of here. If they let us through here, it'll probably take like 20 minutes. Okay. Is it direct across to where we enter? Uh, or is it easier to go downhill? Taking so long. I don't know. We don't have a map anymore. Maybe we can go this way? Very steep. Oh, it's so much cooler in here. I know, let's just, why doesn't the whole city just have jungle foliage around it? They should it? get rid of the buildings and then put jungles. And that then people can live in the trees. That would make more sense. This is really downhill. It's a shortcut, follow oh. the drainage. There will not be a viper in there, I promise. Oh, really? Or a scorpion or a wasp or a millipede thing? Nope, none of them. Wow, this is really hard to... That's really steep. It'd be hard to go slow down that. <laughs> unless, you wanna, unless you wanna jank your ankles. And uh, that's the Eco Park slash Tower. Very epic. So much in this video. Wow. Well, we're out. That definitely saved us some time. But we need to be on the other side of this street. Everyone here in Malaysia so far has been jaywalking, so it seems like it's our only fracking option once this bus goes by. And now one more car. Come on, fracker, this is a perfect opportunity. Let's go. Wee! Perfect. Now we're on the right side of the fracking street. Mm, Malaysian food time. Time to get some Malaysian food to give us some energy and get some sort of drink because we're fracking hot as nuts. We've been sweating for the last like four hours. I mean, it's one. 15. We've been out here for a while. We left at eight or nine. Yeah. Nine, probably closer to nine. Eight yeah. 45 ish. Yeah. So we've been out for a while. We've been Malaysia ing it up. Wow. So much Malaysia ing left to do for us. We discovered something here in Malaysia. They hunt humans. I don't know. I, I don't know what that says, but my gut is telling me this is it's hunting season for humans in that park. So beware of human hunting out there. Sometimes some of the hunters break the rules, like the hunting rules. Sometimes they like go out of the designated hunting area and they come into the streets. personal training oh my frack i want to get trained by him i want to get trained how to grow a beard like that oh that's epic there's a fracking monkey right here look at these monkers oh, man, they're everywhere oh it just duped oh you there's a little baby monker on that one epic we haven't seen any monkeys in asia yet until earlier i mean oh did they knock down this pole oh they might have Oh my gosh, they're all over the fracking boys. Are we in danger? Monkeys! Are you friendly, sir? Is sir? Supposed to be going? Yeah. Okay. Sir? Sir? Excuse me? Are you leading us? 
Oh, he's got a cool looking face. Hey, hey, please don't neck the GoPro. Sir, excuse me. Give him the leaf. Do you want a leaf, sir? I've never followed a monkey down steps before. Would you like a leaf? Oh, there's a little squirrel thing right there. That's a weird looking squirrel thing. Oh, he's very dark. Monkey, monka. He doesn't want the leaf, unfortunately. Very sad. Oh. Oh. Whoa. He's elusive. Very LG epic. Right that is very sick. I wish I was a monka. Oh. oh, unfortunate. He's dead now. Like little local apartment buildings. It's interesting how uh, this apartment building doesn't fit very well in with like the new buildings over here. Yeah. It looks much, much older. This even compared to the one right next to it. <laughs> These have probably been around for a couple of decades. These ones are probably last 20 years. Probably last 15 years. Are we still in Chinatown? It's got the stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of Chinese people here in general. I am so thirsty. I am too. Holy Hopefully nice. they give us some refills of water at the place. Let's see where we are here. I think Google's a little bit confused where we are, but we'll make it. Some street food over there. Oh, like all the lanterns on that. Oh. At night, is this all street food or what? Is it a car wash? All these things look closed as if they might open you and you. Interesting. Tonight we will hit Chinatown I think and try to get something in Chinatown. Looks like there's a lot of nice food to eat. A lot of nice food. Which means you're gonna get ball soup. Ball soup number five. Yeah. What an interesting place. Transition very quickly from that area into this area. Yeah, it's just and then it can just transition right into jungle like at any moment. Yeah. It's, cool. a, it's a very cool place. I can see why a lot of people choose this as their like base if they go around Asia for like travel vlogging and stuff. It makes sense. It's, it's like a, it seems to be a hub for Southeast Asian flights based off the airport when we landed in too. Yeah, everywhere. It was all like, it was like Ho Chi Minh City, uh, Bangkok, uh, Jakarta. It's, an, it's a, the cheapest flight easily from uh, the Philippines. And we were gonna go to Borneo. That's actually the cheapest flight, which is kind of crazy. Saba, uh, but uh, Unfortunately, we decided not to because it looked like we want, want, would want a lot of time there. Yeah, it's a lot of hiking and stuff and a lot of times going on one hike can take an entire day. So we'd want a week or two there, I think. But here we only need a couple of days to kind of get the feel because we can always come back. Because it's a nice easy one to get to. Oh wow, there used to be a really big tree right there. Oh my frack, that is a thick daddy. They're probably like, oh geez, this could fall into the street at any moment. And destroy parts of the building. Yeah, so they chopped it down, ripped that tree. Da -na -na. Hello, what a shot, what a shot. Interesting little market. Yeah, there's like a like food or like a family like set up shop type one. That was interesting. Oh, they're making a new area right there. Looks very fancy. That does look extremely fancy. There's just a hole right here. Watch out for that. <laughs> the drainage. New drink. Two new drinks. Sarsi. I've seen this other places. I think the Philippines do. I don't know where it's from exactly. It might be Malaysia. It might. Where is Hoss Boom from? Manufactured for Malaysia. There's some Arabic looking letters right there. It says Malaysia though. This says Malaysia too. Oh my gosh, more Malaysian things, we're nailing it. I'm guessing this is going to be a Coke. But it's Sarsi. It, it's a little different. When it hit my mouth at first, it was just normal. It's Mountain Thunder! Here, try some. 
the like aftertaste is slightly different. It's more like um, more like root beer. Yeah. Kind of like a sarsaparilla. Kind of. Oh, I don't know if I've had that. It's kind of what that tastes like generally. This it tastes like Coke at first, and then the aftertaste of root beer. Sarsi sarsaparilla. Sarsi sparilla. Oh, now I'll try us. Oh. Lemony. Yeah, it's lemony. I feel like lemonade, or is it like? A... It's yeah, it's like carbonated lemonade, kind of. Oh. It kind of tastes like it should be alcoholic, so there is an alcoholic version. Oh, yeah. Like the way I taste it. It's supposed to be like a Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah, and the way it kind of comes out, and the, we the weird like aftertaste kind of tastes like something that would have alcohol in it, and then you get the alcohol aftertaste after it. That's weird. You can take a pour of that. The flavor is very interesting. Like it's not straight up just like a lemon. It's like, well, it's know, a mixer. A mixture in there. It's a mixer for a drink. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hmm. Pretty tasty though. Mm. The pops here have been pretty nice. Not bad. Good job, Malaysia, so far. Hey, hey. So far. Just wait till we accidentally drink a carbonated water drink and we're like, oh. Oh, we almost got one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but we also have uh, different flavors of Coke and Mountain Dews to try. That's interesting. We haven't seen those in anywhere yet. No. Pitch black? I didn't know that still existed. Well, still on the hunt for food. We don't know how to do the cafeteria thing. So, we're just gonna try to get one with an actual menu so we know what we're eating. Gonna ask the guy, but he seemed like he was busy cooking. He was flying around, and if we like get something from him, he could describe it. But then he would probably describe it very quickly and then we'd be like, oh. Uh, uh, never seen any of that stuff. It all looked like curry. Look at this fancy place. Wow, very empty. We are at a Malaysian restaurant. And what do we have for them today? We have roti jala. Roti jala. Some chicken here. It kind of looks like, like wrapped ramen noodles. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. So I'm guessing you just dip it in? Dip it in? I would think so. Oh wow. Oh, it's very squishy. It does, it has a texture of ramen noodles too. Really? Interesting. It's tasty. That's not spicy at all. It's not spicy, now. are you Super kidding? Now. We'll oh, see wow. what happens in the rest of the meal. <laughs> the, we have some shrimp and chili paste coming. Yes, yes. Uh oh. Um, that was pretty good. This is bonus? Let's do this so it doesn't go flying. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna try the chicken first. It's very uh, stringy. Very tender. Oh, oh there is a little bone in there. Oh. Oh. Mm. Not minty? Minty? I, like, I didn't get any mint, so it must be the, whatever those things are. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try the roti. Like just straight up. Germany, you it's like noodles. It, yeah. It is like very noodly. That is really interesting. Noodles, chicken curry, and then in my mouth. The nice thing about those type of noodles is they absorb that flavor very well. They really do. That tastes straight like that. And that tastes a lot different without the mint on it. Teaser <laughs> for what's to come and what's yes. to burn. We are scared. It might be very spicy. Let's do it. So we got our appetizer, the lamak are different types of rice. What are the different kinds? Yellow rice. Uh -huh. And then... And uh, I guess we'll start with our labak. It's like meat wrapped in a bean... Bean pasty? curd something? Yeah, bean curd uh, wrap paper. Mm. 
Whoa. Ooh. It's sweet. Sweet? On the outside. Oh, interesting. I, I think it's like a sweet bean. Uh huh. It's really flavorful though. It's sort of like a dumpling. Really? A sweet dumpling? Mm hmm. Yeah, because it's the red beans. Those are the sweet mm -hmm. ones, right? Yeah. Okay. That's really flavorful. That is tasty. So the tofu is a palate cleanser after you eat a la box. Oh, is the chili? Okay. <laughs> this is for this. Yeah. We need the chili also. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, the chili now. No. Here we go. How spicy will it be? I don't want to do too much. Mm. A little spicy. <laughs> But definitely actually gives it flavor. We're oh, having no flavor. That's good. That should be sweet. Oh, there's a flower on it. Oh. It is? Really? Okay. Um, this is used to make uh, colorings, blue color. Ah, uh, okay. dessert. And also the rice sometimes comes in blue color. It's from this flower. Really? Okay, interesting. And the water, blue color. Sometimes I make a drink. It's also from this flower. Okay. Uh, it's no flavor. Yeah, no flavor. Color, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 And then what we take it one and then eat it with rice usually? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's try this. Oh my Ooh. gosh. <laughs> Want to eat it? Is it hot? I'll pair up for you, sir. I feel like I'm at the uh, uh, Korean barbecue Dubai. Oh, that's not Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi is way cooler. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see how spicy this is. I'm intrigued. There's the shrimps. There's are some flakes right there. The shrimps aren't in the shell. No. Yes, that's I, nice. How I prefer it, generally. Yes. Do you shell? Let's get an onion, let's get a shrimp, and let's get some rice. How spicy we talking? I'm not getting any spice. Okay, good, good, good. We're not dying. <laughs> mm, that's good. I'm gonna try one of the shrimp just straight up. Very nice and saucy. Those are good. Good. It has the, it has the like chili taste to it oh. without it burning your mouth <laughs> like the chili chicken I got yesterday. <laughs> That rice is good. I've not had rice like this before. It looks really cool. It tastes cool. <laughs> the yellow rice. I need to try the flour first. Flour taste test. It tastes better than the Italy one, doesn't it? <laughs> it just tastes like a piece of lettuce. The yellow rice. Wow. Uh, Are you straight out of Mangalore? I think that's how they did it. Yeah. <laughs> and like the meal is gonna be spicier. I have no idea. I literally doused it in the sauce. You'll get one of the chili flakes on there and you'll just cry. <laughs> All right. Mm, that is really good. That's really good. It's a nice shrimper. I haven't had shrimp for a while. No. That's really good. I like that. Yummy. Very yummy. Good what is that? It's not a bitter melon or no, whatever the heck not. that thing is. I don't want to have my <laughs> Oh 
yum. That's really good. I like it with this. So it's spicy first and then sweetness comes in. Mm. Reminds me of the like chili sauce that would be at like a Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah, and uh, this, this place is like Indian, Chinese, Malay fusion or whatever. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what this one was. And then the tofu in the spice. Tofu. Definitely needs a sauce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Very delicious. Our first Malaysian meal. Yeah, we got the... Nepali food yesterday. Now we're rocking it today. Yummy. The dessert time. What is it called? Uh, Chinchu. What's it called? Chinchu sum? Okay. It starts with a C A. <laughs> the first word, and the next word starts with an S. Oh. A L. Is this like caramel on top? It kind of looks like caramel, and then he said something about milk, and then there's Jello like the, yeah, the like. Jello shots. Oh. oh, oh, oh. You're supposed to stir it until the milk is released. Is that released? Looks kind of released. Yeah, it looks pretty released, I'd say. Hey. If this is caramel milk and these things, it's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. It's just coffee shot, jello shots again. Well, that is weird. It's not what you expected it to taste like. Oh, the jellos aren't as firm. Oh. They, they're, they just go all over the place. Like, Very slurpy. And then it's like pretty like milky and you're like, okay. And then the like caramel stuff hits you and then it's just super sweet. Whoa. It's really good though. Wait, I need a little. Ooh, slurpy. <laughs> That's tasty. Oh. oh, that's a lot of caramel. So a lot of caramel. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely got a lot more caramel than I did on my Ooh, that hit you. No. Not caramel, is that? No. Maybe it's caramel. Butterscotch? I don't know what it is. It's yummy. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh, wow. How am I getting these? That's really good. It's like the perfect sweetness. With the jello that's kind of just like there for texture. Yeah, and then the milk isn't super sweet, so it dumbs it down a little bit. Gonna look at how slug like those jellos are. It's very slug. They're very slippable. Oh, look at my throat. It's always dangerous. <laughs> very slug like. Very slug like. We'll talk more after this. We're gonna eat it all. Oh, empty. We've eaten everything. Like literally everything. We ate everything. I tried to get all the rice off the plate too. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the remnants of that. Lick it, please. Or snort. Oh, yeah. Very sad. Oh, snorting it. Line it up. That'd be pretty intense. All right, everybody. That was sarang, sarong. Probably sarong. That was really good. It they, was really tasty. They said it's. I mean, they, uh, they said, we talked to the waitress and the owners, I assume, and they said it's pretty much the most traditional Malaysian food you can get. So, that's good. It's literally, it appeared to be uh, in their house. Yeah. Which is uh, very traditional. Oh. Traditional Malaysian. She said the rice that we got, the rice with all like flowers and stuff, is people don't really make that anymore. Yeah, so that's exclusivity right there. Very traditional. So if you want it, it's right here in this yellow really building. Tasty. It was so tasty, we ate everything. We literally ate every drop of food. Oh my gosh, a travel lodge? Oh my gosh. Do people stay in hotels there? Really? I, I think, think really so. cool people stay in hotels then. I would, I would think that only the coolest people stay in travel lodges. But yeah, if you want traditional Malaysian food when you're in Malaysia, that's the place to go. It was really good. They were really nice, very helpful. Told us how to eat everything. Told us like what everything was. And we didn't even have to ask. Very yeah, helpful. That is very nice. We um, don't uh, like asking people to do how to do things. Especially when they're working. Yeah, because we already have trouble getting the bill because people will like be doing something and I don't want to like go out of my way to be like, oh, and like interrupt what they're doing, but that's how you order in yeah. a lot of the Asian countries we've been to. So I we're, guess we'll have to get used to it, but. We're used to people just coming over when like 
you're done. They're yeah. just like, come over. In the U.S., the waiters literally just go around and they just go in like a circle and yeah. like ask the t table, it's like, oh, you're doing all right? And yeah. not here. It's different. And we're getting accustomed to it. Very helpful people, very friendly. Recommend it. Whoa! Now we are out and about. With no sense of direction on what to do. None at all. But there's Hotel Citizen right there, so I'm ready. I'm a citizen. <gasps> Not of this Malaysia? country.